hello guys and welcome back in this video we're going to be looking at types of keyframes in after effects so there are basically about seven types of keyframes in after effects and we're going to look at each and every one of them with examples now the first type of keyframe we are going to be looking at is the linear keyframe so this is the most basic form of interpolation in after effects is the most basic uh, keyframe whenever you create an animation or whenever you create keyframes this is the keyframe you get so it's very mechanical and there is no no realism in the linear keyframe so this keyframe is indicated by by this diamond icon here it's indicated by this diamond icon and this is how the speed graph appears when you create this this keyframe so right now i'm just going to create something i'm going to create a, a simple animation to show you an example of the linear keyframe so let's bring the anchor point to the middle Right now let's create a keyframe on the position so for the first keyframe we're going to have the keyframe here or let's have it some some frames forward so we're going to have our first keyframe here and then we're going to move we're going to move some frames forward and have our second keyframe here so as you can see this is what we get we get the diamond um the diamond icon so when we play we see that this is what we get this is very mechanical movement so it's very unrealistic because in nature things do not move in this manner so this is what we get this is the linear keyframe now when we come to the graph editor we see that this is the graph editor just like our just like our drawing here just like our drawing here you see that this is what we get you see that this is what we get so this is basically what the linear keyframe looks like now for the next type of keyframe we have the easy ease keyframe now this is the easy ease keyframe and this is the the symbol for the easy ease keyframe this is the symbol and this is how the graph looks like so this type of keyframe is less mechanical than the linear keyframe and it gives us a more realistic view or a, a more realistic movement rather and the movement kind of starts slow and then speeds up and ends slow so that's the whole idea behind the easy ease keyframe so i'm going to show you an, an example right now so let's bring the anchor points to the middle and let's play with the position then let's animate the position rather so i'm going to create my first keyframe i'm coming to i'm coming here i'm going to bring my my object here so let's just go to one second To create the easy ease keyframe, all you need to do is select the the keyframes and right click, then keyframes um, keyframe assistant and easy ease. So now we have the easy ease keyframe. So we see that it starts slow 
then speeds up at the middle or towards the middle and then ends slow so coming to our graph editor we see that this is what we get with the easy ease keyframe and we see that we have we now have handles here which we can use to modify our speeds as we want it so basically that's it for the easy ease keyframe thirdly we have the easy ease out um, sorry we have the easy ease in keyframe now this keyframe has this symbol and has uh, these as its speed graph so the way this keyframe works is that the movement starts almost immediately and then ends slow so it, it it starts very fast and then ends slow that's basically how this keyframe works so let's create an example to illustrate our easy ease in So let's create our first keyframe here. Move one second in time and now in order to achieve the easy ease in keyframe, you select your keyframes and right click keyframe assistant and then easy ease in. Now this is what we get. So as we can see, it starts very fast and then ends very slow. Coming to the graph editor, we then see that this is what we get, just as we had in our illustration. So we also have handles here, which we can play with to adjust the speed as we want it. That's it for the easy easing keyframe. Now the easy ease out keyframe is basically the opposite of the easy ease in keyframe. The movement starts very slow and then ends abruptly. So I'm going to create, I'm going to show you an, an example or rather, um, we haven't seen this, but this is how the symbol looks like. It looks just like the opposite of the easy ease in and so also the graph looks just like the opposite of the easy ease in so i'm going to create a shape here to illustrate come to one second and let's move our our object so in order to achieve the easy ease out keyframe after selecting our keyframes all we need to do is right click keyframe assistant and easy ease out now we see that it starts really slow and stops immediately starts slow and stops abruptly coming to our keyframe assistant we see that this is what we get it comes slow and start uh, sorry it comes it starts slow and stops immediately starts slow go gradually and then stops immediately so that's it for the easy ease out keyframes in our further lessons definitely we are going to use these keyframes and create very cool stuff even in live projects now for the next keyframe we have the toggle hold keyframe now the toggle hold keyframe type is a very strange kind of keyframe and it's not used very regularly by most animators and it practically does what the name implies it holds a layer on a particular frame the toggle hold keyframe is indicated by a square shape or icon so in order to create a toggle hold keyframe we are going to create our rectangle 
and then bring our anchor point to the middle yeah right now in order to create our our toggle hold keyframe we'll create a keyframe on the position and we'll now hold down control and alt when we hold on control and alt and click on our existing keyframe then we take our our time to where we want it to be and then take our object to the point where we want it to be so basically that's it now we can see that the square icon has been created here that's showing us that we've successfully created a toggle hold keyframe now when we go back to the last keyframe we don't see it going to this point that's to the next point we just see it appear there and we can keep doing this over and over again so you can see that yeah so we can see how we've successfully created the toggle hold keyframe that's it for the toggle hold keyframe our next keyframe is the linear continuous keyframe so the linear continuous keyframe tends to act between two conflicting keyframe controls so these two conflicting keyframe controls are then merged together into a single keyframe control and and that gives us an easy control so right now this is the symbol for the linear continuous keyframe so in order to understand more i'm just going to show you an example so let's create a rectangle here let's create a shape and then bring the anchor point to the middle so let's go for the position and create our first keyframe here moving uh, move into 10 frames and bring up our position here then move again bring our position here and move again and finally bring our position here so we have this wavy movement so in order to control the keyframes or in order to edit the keyframes first of all let's make it um, easy ease so we have them as easy ease so coming to our graph editor we see that the movement here is not slow it's not smooth and when we try to edit our keyframes we see that we then have two uh, control points here and also here so it makes it very difficult for us to work so in order to solve this issue we use the linear continuous keyframe so in order to achieve the linear continuous keyframe you just come and hold down control and click your your keyframes your your selected keyframes so you will see this circular symbol appear showing you that you've successfully created the linear continuous keyframes now when we select our keyframes and go back to our graph editor we then see that the conflicting keyframes have been merged into one keyframe so right now we can simply work on our keyframes and edit as we want and this makes it easier to work with this okay so let's just have something like this not so cool but so we see this is what we get using our linear continuous keyframe so that's it for the linear continuous keyframe the next and final type of keyframe is the roof across time keyframe so the roof across time keyframe is quite similar to the linear continuous keyframe it's also used when we encounter problems while trying to edit our complex animation um, movements so for example let's have our shape once more 
and create a, and create a complex movement right so let's create a keyframe on the position and then bring our position here and bring one other here and let's say we have the final just like the previous one we had so what rover cross time does is it turns the selected keyframes into in-betweens so right now you see that we encounter the same problem we encountered previously so in, in order to solve this we're just going to select all our keyframes right click and click on rove across time so we see that this is what we get when we uh, select the rove across time keyframe we see that it turns these keyframes into in-betweens so it actually makes it very easy for us to edit edit our keyframes so basically that's it for the rover cross time so you can play with the in-betweens and create whatever type of animation you like to create thanks to the rover cross time keyframe so that's it for the hey so that's it for today's video hope you enjoyed it and learned something new if you did please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you want to see more videos like this make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads we post new videos every week covering topics in the fields of graphic design and illustration motion graphics and video branding and more if you want to support us and get access to exclusive benefits such as the project files we use in our classes, a live chat with us, shoutouts and more, consider becoming a patron on Patreon. You can join for as little as $3 a month and the link to our Patreon page is in the description below. And if you want to take your learning to the next level, you can check out the complete course of which this episode is a part of. And in the complete course, you get access to more than 10 hours of video lessons, project files and resources class exercises, a Q&A section, a certificate of completion, and more. You can get the course for a special discount by using the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.